thanks for watching the fumble. All right, James Harden is making his own case on why he should be MVP. And in doing so, he pretty much took Russell Westbrook out of the equation by providing his definition and standard of it. Harden and Westbrook are the two top contenders for MVP this year. Westbrook's obviously getting a lot of love in the conversation as he's currently averaging a triple-double and willing his way to the playoffs. But if you ask James Harden, uh, that doesn't necessarily make an MVP. He wants voters to factor in the player's individual performance, sure, but also the team's overall success when looking at who should be MVP. He said, I think obviously individually you have to have a really, really good season, but your team has to be in position to be one of the top teams in your respective conference. Then just look how valuable you are to that team. If you're taken off that team, is your team still good? Are you still playoff contenders? All of that adds into one. Obviously you have to be winning and you just have to be having an unbelievable year. Did you just catch the shade he threw at Westbrook? Okay, I'm kidding, kind of. Maybe it wasn't shade, but here's the thing. While Russ is having a phenomenal season, his team is having an okay one. Okay for OKC. <laughs> The Thunder are currently sixth in the Western Conference with a record of 37 and 29. In contrast to the Rockets who are third in the conference and have a record of 46 and 21. Now, while James Harden isn't averaging a triple-double every night, he's coming pretty close. He's averaging 28.9 points, 7.9 rebounds, and 11.2 assists. He's actually leading the league in assists right now. What do you guys think, James Harden or Russell Westbrook for MVP? And should the league take into account the overall state of the team, or should they focus a bit more on the individual's performance when voting? Let me know in the comments below. For all things sports, subscribe before you go. Click that Fumble logo right there, tap the bell so you don't miss any news, and I'll see you soon.